The Obama and Biden families are about to leave office after eight years. And so Sandra Soberai Westfall and I sat down with Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden in Michelle Obama's office in the White House. All of these eight years, I have watched the relationship between Jill Biden and Michelle Obama and been really curious about it because we've never seen a first lady and second lady be so obviously, genuinely girlfriends. Are we too far apart? <laughs> We've been so close. <laughs> this is People at the White House, the final interview with First Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden. Here we are in the First Lady's office. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Um, Mrs. Obama, you have said of your friendship, we've been silly together, we've cried a lot. Can you tell us about your friendship over the past few years, how it has evolved? Well, it, 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 was, it felt pretty automatic. It was, the, it was a, election night. Well, actually, it started at the convention. No, it started before that. It started when we, we were announced out. Remember? That's right. In Springfield, yeah, that's Illinois, right. that's, that's what right. it was. That's right. Because we had both been Senate spouses, mm -hmm. but you were in Chicago, I was in so Delaware. So we never came to Washington. Yeah, and it was and, an instant yeah. bond, just, yeah. just that moment. I mean, we just knew we would be friends. Is there a particular memory that you both have from the Joining Forces initiative that you're going to carry with you? Ooh, there are so many yeah. moments. It's yeah. hard, you know, I remember the baby shower that we did. Uh, with Martha expected, Stewart. Right? Oh, yeah. We and for military moms. Mm -hmm. And, uh, they, oh, how about The Voice this summer? Oh, that was good. That was <laughs> a <laughs> lot of fun <laughs> to be on, on set. Voice. Yeah, that was fun. Um, gosh, we've done so many things. It's, but it's our, our conversations with spouses, yeah. you know, because they, you know, I say this again and again, that if ever I'm feeling sorry for myself or I'm feeling down, spending some time talking with the men and women who are the spouses of our service members, that makes you understand that there is no problem that you can't handle because they do it all with grace and uh, with dignity. Um, they don't complain. I didn't know if they were really close friends. I didn't know if they were best friends in the world. And it turns out they have an incredibly close relationship. And the thing that struck me about both of them is they're both very, very funny. What's the first lady like as a travel companion? <laughs> She's fun. She's a lot of fun. I think our staffs get yeah. along well together and we just get on the plane and have a little wine. I, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> we tell them about the wine. Now we yeah. can tell them about the wine. Uh, that, that yeah. almost right. done. There are no more rules. Yeah. Like Over we are drunk line. on the plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put on some well, music. Jill is, uh, oftentimes she's grading papers, which is yeah. always funny because I forget, oh yeah, you have a day job. <laughs> and then she pulls out her papers and she's so diligent. I was like, look yeah. at you, you have a job. <laughs> tell me, tell me what it's like. What has it been like? So she's always got papers to grade. So when yeah. she finishes her homework, then we can, we can talk, we can play. <laughs> we can do girl talk. Yeah. It's like, even if we don't see one another for maybe a month mm -hmm. because we're both different places, we get together and it's like, you know that friend that you see like a couple years later and it's like you never right. you know that's what this is I think it's been an incredibly tough two years mm -hmm. um, for your family what is it meant to have this relationship getting you through that time well Michelle has been truly wonderful and um, so through the tough times I mean she she knew what was going on most people didn't and uh, she was always caring and asking how we were doing, how the kids were doing, um, how Bo was doing. But she and Barack knew uh, above all, I mean, you know, what every week was like. And then um, when Bo died, uh, they came over to the house and uh, came to the funeral and, and it's continued. I mean, every time, how you doing? You know, how are things going? How are the kids doing? And with things going on in Michelle's life, but from, you know, how's your mom doing? And, mm -hmm. Um, so it's, it's more than just us, it's our extended family. The whole country was struck when Bo Biden died. Everybody felt the heaviness of that grief. It was unimaginable. And I'd not been able to talk to um, Dr. Biden about that before this interview. And 
It was a very emotional moment. She was very grateful for the support that she had received. And I think it went both ways. I think there were probably things that Michelle Obama went through that we don't even know about that Jill supported her on. But as they were talking about that, I did think, you know, what are we gonna do now? Like, where do we go with this interview now? To then ask about the relationship with the husbands um, felt like a, a, a decent segue. We have to ask the bromance between your husbands. Oh, oh is that hysterical? Yeah, yeah, so oh my cute. God. What, what, what are they going to do when they leave? I know. They're going to find each other. <laughs> They're going to be eating ice cream They'll somewhere, I'm sure. They'll find They'll each other yeah. together, together, looking yeah. into Frankly. each other's eyes. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you too. So is that real? Are those memes real? Like the, the, the two of well, them? Well, not the words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are made up words. I couldn't get them to admit that Joe Biden really wanted to leave whoopee cushions all over the house for Donald Trump, but I tried. But you know what? That has become a truly beautiful friendship. Yeah. And I don't think we've really seen a lot of that, yeah. and especially in politics. But mm -hmm. I think they really love one another. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. I Just mean, like they have we their, do. They have their lunches together, and when yes. Barack comes home, he's like, I had lunch with Joe today. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's, you know... About. And there's real joy yeah. in the fact that I got to have lunch with Joe, and... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, you didn't. You missed the dinner. We had a dinner the other night because mm -hmm. you were working. I was working. But they were very touching then because <laughs> I, I think for um, Barack having somebody who's like the big brother. Um, we won't call him uncle, but because you know, or older, or older. Yes. No, it's like the the big brother in this journey. Mm -hmm. Somebody that he respects mm -hmm. and admires. Um, it's it's the best decision that Barack has made as President of the United States, picking Joe and oh, the Bidens as our partners in this yes. journey. So that's real, you know, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of golfing. Joe yeah. doesn't yeah. golf as much as Barack, or does mm. he? Yeah, he yeah, sort he of, does. so there could be yeah. a lot of golfing together. Yes. So, and, uh, yeah. and so we'll get together and we'll sit by the fire and drink and they can go golf or, you know. It's a lot of drinking. That seems to be a theme. No, no. it's not it's really, not, but, you know, it's just. It's not that much. Yeah. I promise you. So before we left them, we did ask them to take a look back at some of their uh, photo album from the year and show them some pictures from the last eight years so we could get their memories on these kind of behind the scenes moments. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Vipers. We were cheering on the Vipers. Can you imagine uh, being in a rec league gym uh, in, in Maryland with <laughs> the vice president, the president, the first and second spouses, all the kids and the grandkids, all in one gym with our security. Yes, yeah, there was yelling, more security than people on the teams. Yelling at a group of, I think they were probably yeah. sixth, fifth or sixth yeah. graders. Shoot, oh no, you can see. I will say that it doesn't look like a lot of decorum going on. In no. That. No. 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 no, This was one of the games where we were uh -huh. all there. Yep. But Barack coached the Vipers, and Maisie was the uh, the the Biden's granddaughter. It was the star, and it continues to be one of the star athletes yeah. at the school. So it was probably some shot missed. Or, it looked like there was a shot missed. No, if it was Maisie, she made the shot. She made Maisie yes. made the shot. For, she was probably Sasha missing the shot. I love you, kid. Was this the second election night? That was, yes, victory night uh, 2012. Yeah, because I remember the dresses. Remember the outfit. Yeah, we the know outfits. each other by the outfit. <laughs> We're like, are you ready? You ready yeah. to do this again? Yeah. Four more yeah. years? Yeah, I remember this night. I do too. It's a lot yeah. of excitement. Yeah. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, this was the caregiver summit. To me, this reminds me of how important this issue is and how it crosses party lines because we have Elizabeth Dole in Oh, the that's corner, right. Yeah, she's right. right? Yeah. And yeah. Rosalind Carter, they all yes. came together mm -hmm. uh, for this event because each of us uh, in our post mm -hmm. sort of official life has continued to work on mm -hmm. these issues. Uh, Laura Bush is the same thing. We just did an event together. We've done several events together around yeah. military families. So, you know, again, this is one of the special 
uh, parts about serving in this role, you get to con connect it to the military community and you never mm -hmm. want to let go. You just brought in and you know that you have to continue the fight. Yeah. Um, and these amazing women have been champions on this issue far longer than I know I have. Um, and we hope to be, I don't know, I always tell Rosalind, I'm not sure if I want to be working as long as she is. I would tell her, slow <laughs> she... down. You're making us all look bad. <laughs> Rosalind Carter ruins everything. <laughs> That's a funny line. <laughs> Thanks, Rosalind. <laughs> well, I want to tell you both, thank you so much, because you, both of your families, have been exceptionally generous in letting People Magazine tell your stories as people living in this bubble. So, um, I mean, we were just thinking, I, to go back and count, I think we've done 14 or 15 interviews with you guys, and um, to be entrusted with your family's stories has been a great honor, so well, thank you. we're just you. people. Yeah. In the end. So it's perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just people, pretty regular. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.